Innsbruck, the capital of Tyrol, is considered by many to be one of the most beautiful cities of the Alps. This is due in part to its spectacular location. It is veritably surrounded by towering peaks. But the wonders of the natural landscape have, over the centuries, been enhanced by the appeal of an equally beautiful architectural substance. The city tower, which among other things once served as a prison, dates back to the 14th century and is only one of numerous historical landmarks. The most famous of which is certainly the Goldenes Dachel. The roof of the two-storied oriel is decorated with about 2,600 gilded copper shingles, an ostentatious detail for a 15th century aristocratic residence. Innsbruck, which means bridge over the inn, was an important trading center during the Middle Ages. It served as an imperial residence for the Habsburgs, and wherever the royals roamed, the upper classes were sure to follow. This explains the many beautiful patrician houses to be found throughout the city, such as the Helbinghaus. Emperor Maximilian I resided at the Hofburg, which dates back to the 15th century. Maria Theresia commissioned an extension of this imperial palace around 1760. In recent years, a great deal of renovation has been done and today the Hofburg is one of Innsbruck's main historical attractions. The triumphal arch commemorates two moments of Austrian history, the marriage of Leopold of Tuscany and the death of his father, Emperor Franz I, who died during the ceremonies. Although the name Innsbrucke would be first documented in 1187, the city was actually founded in 1180 by the Count of Andex on the north shore of the Inn River. The Ottoburg, which is believed to be the oldest house of the city, is named after the last Count Otto VIII. Built in the 15th century along the former city walls, the Ottoburg has had numerous owners and served numerous functions. Today, it is best known as an excellent tavern. Effectively combining the old with the new is a challenge confronting all European cities, and Innsbruck is no exception. The University for Social and Economic Sciences provides a striking contrast to the old university, built in 1680. One of the city's jewels is the Church of the Sisters of Eternal Worship. The Maria Theresienstrasse is Innsbruck's main thoroughfare, and the honor column was erected in 1706 to celebrate the withdrawal of Bavarian troops. And, ever-present, the namesake river. Nature, culture, sport, and tradition await the visitor in the Tyrolean capital. The exciting contrast between the legacy of the past and the vitality of the present, set amidst a magnificent alpine backdrop, makes the city of Innsbruck positively unique.